unfortunately, um, often auditors, perhaps even inspectors, may not have the technical background to know what they're really looking for. And they only know that 20 years ago when they were looking, they saw a lot of IQs, OQs and PQs. They say, we want to see your OQ. Then it's a matter of, of communicating, well, actually, this is what our life cycle looks like now. And what you might have thought of as an OQ uh, in the past is now going to be mainly uh, realized by the product developers, functional testing of the product, and to a certain extent uh, met by the checking of the configuration during the implementation or whatever. So it's a matter of, of explaining what, yeah, it's the same objectives, but it's a, it's a modern life cycle and the terminology will change. And especially now that most software in the world is produced using agile processes, the terminology has changed again. So it's uh, all burn down charts and, and backlogs and, and uh, various kinds of ceremonies. That, uh, so nowhere in the real life software development world is IQ, OQ, PQ even is considered. I think that the level of inspectors that are old school in, in that respect is would be very, very low right? because there's a, there's a large turnover of inspectors. Most inspectors have got experience of, of modern techniques and, 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 and technologies. And I, and I don't think it's a problem for the regulators. I think it's mainly internally in, in, the, uh, in the companies. And, um, and, and uh, Cisco from um, the FDA said that the other day, and so did uh, some other members of the, of the FDA industry CSA team. It's, you know, it's not the FDA saying these things. It's people are worried that, that the FDA is saying th these things. And it's very, uh, it's very helpful and indicative that in a recent uh, video conference, um, Seneca Tom from the Office of Regulatory Affairs was there as well, you know, the managing inspections. And he was, he was very realistic and very supportive of true patient-centric approaches. And he's saying, you know, listen, we're not gonna come in and say, did you validate that system? We want to see X, Y, Z. No, we want to know how did you manage risk to the patient? How do you ensure quality of the, of the product? And so it's mainly self-inflicted within the companies rather than being inflicted by, by regulatory agencies.